Hey guys, it's uh, Chris with Vinmotive Garage, and uh, we're out here we're working on the uh, 28 Chevrolet Touring Car. We, if you've been following along, we got the uh, the body off of the frame the other day, and uh, I just just kind of want to take a minute and talk about something that you hear a lot of YouTubers talk about, but they don't ever really sh they don't ever really show, and uh, it's uh, it's mechanical brakes. And uh, just how mechanical mechanical brakes are, I guess. Um, with the body off the frame, you can see real well. Here's the here's the brake pedal, and uh, we take our first rod off of that brake pedal down to this kind of C junction uh, that controls the front brakes and the back brakes on the car. These two rods go out to either side of the frame rail here on the passenger side, and it goes back through a series of connectors back to the brake drum. Now the the brake drum on the rear end of this 28 Chevrolet is 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 really really very different than most brake drums and I'll take the wheel off in a minute and show you guys that but uh, right now I just want to kind of show you all the mechanical linkage that uh, connects up everything. Here we see a a link that's uh, going up to the front and uh, uh, and the main arm going into the into the front axle brakes um, these front brakes uh, you really can't see how they operate on the inside with without the drums being off the car and uh, it'll be a little while before we get the drums off of these. We'll have to get a get a wheel puller to do that. But uh, you know, uh, here, here we here we see the the brake rods coming back over from the other side, and uh, there they there you go where they connect into the brake pedal. And we'll go ahead and take a. few minutes and get you guys a look at that and then run back to the back. Now, this brake system is fairly complete. There's a couple of springs missing and, and, and broken, but for the most part, all of the rods are there. Everything's working kind of the way it should be. So uh, now I think what I'm gonna do is take one of the back wheels off and let you guys have a look and see how, how the back brakes work. So, uh, We'll go ahead and get this thing up on a jack, and I'll, I'll go ahead and speed the video up. Uh, I think everybody's probably seen taking a tire off before, but uh, or a rim off before anyway. But uh, and and again, I, I you know I know that there's a lot of you guys out there that have that's, that, that are familiar with these mechanical brakes and have seen them, uh, seen them all your lives, seen hundreds of different kinds and different variations of them, and know a whole lot more than I know about them. But uh, I think that. Uh, there's a lot of people on YouTube that maybe never had an experience with them, never actually ever seen them in real, in, in life. But, uh, so, so here we see, uh, how this, the brake shoe is on the outside of the drum. Uh, here, let me get a better shot of it here. So the, the brake shoe is on the outside of the drum and it's compressing down on the brake to, uh, to kind of hold everything up. It's, uh, it is a kind of a strange design, I think. Generally, we're used to having the shoes inside the drum. Uh, but uh, on this 28 Chevrolet, they are outside the drum. Kind of a interesting thing about Chevrolet is that uh, the standard catalog of American Automobile says that 1928 was the first year Chevrolet had brakes on the front of cars. And we can see here that the brakes on the front of this car aren't working. That should be going back. Uh, but instead, it's it's actually stuck right there. Luckily, the brakes are stuck off instead of on, so we can push the car around and move it around. Go ahead and speed up putting this wheel back on. I'd like to thank you guys for taking a look at this video. Uh, maybe for those of you that uh, have never seen mechanical brakes, it might be the first time you've ever you've ever experienced them. And uh, for for all of you guys that. Uh, are experienced with them, maybe bring back some old memories about uh, about working on some other 
some other cars. But uh, thanks, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, be sure and like and subscribe, and uh, come back to Vin Motive on YouTube and visit VinMotive.com on the internet.